Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to create an enum and then use that enum as an argument in a function. At the end, we're going to call that function and pass along one of the enum's restricted elements. I hope you enjoy this video. Let's begin by creating a new type. This new type called ranking type is a new user defined data type of type enum. Notice here that there are three elements. These three elements create a restricted set of values that ranking type can be assigned to. On line 14, you can see we just queried all the data types that are in my local instance of PostgreSQL. Now guess what? We just added the 663rd new data type to this environment. It's called ranking type. Now, ranking type is a new data type of type enum. Let's limit this set to only show that one data type. Notice ranking types OID is 17164. In just a moment, we'll see how important that value is. From PG type, we get a list of all of our user defined data types and system types. Now, using the type name ranking type, we got its OID and it's 17164. I'm going to query the next table called PG underscore enum for with that same number. And notice I get all the restricted values, first, second, and third. So here you can see we have a very simple function called use ranking type. And notice I have one argument. The argument name is called ranking and its data type is ranking type. We define that up here. Now on line 19, I'm actually going to call this function. I'm going to say select star from ranking type and I'm going to pass in first. Now when it comes in here, this is a data type and I'm going to assign this value first. Now it's important to understand I can only ever assign ranking first, second, or third. No other values would be permitted. So let's go ahead and create this function, then let's actually call that, see what happens. And notice we get null back, right, a void. And then our messages, see it says notice first. So, so we printed out the ranking value. Now, if I were to change first to capital F, that would be a violation. Remember, elements of an enum are case sensitive. So if I try to call this now, I'm gonna get an error. It's saying, I don't know what that is. Nor can I use another word like software. It doesn't know what that is either. It's like, that's a violation. As a programmer, we know that this is a restricted data type. Only three values are permitted. And the only way we can do it is use the case that is available to make that work. We have made a few changes. Now I say returns varchar. I used to say return void. And now I'm going to be doing a if statement. And I'm saying if ranking, ranking is the variable of type, an enum ranking type. So if ranking equals first, then I'm going to say first was passed in. Else if, if that ranking equals second, then I'm gonna print this one and third and so forth. Now here's a test question. Should I have an else statement in this if? If you said no, then you would be correct. The reason this is a reserved data type. Only three values can ever be entered here. It would fail on line 25 if I provided a value that was outside of one, two, or three. In fact, let's come over here and say last, and notice it won't even come in here. It will fail right here on line 25. Let's say, uh, uh, what is this? So there's our second example. We passed a value into a function. The data type is an enum, and then we use the value of what ranking is, and we first, second, or third. And there you have it, team. How to use an enum as an argument in a function. I gave you two examples, how an enum is used, and how the restricted value is enforced. If you have any questions about this video, please leave them below. And also, please consider leaving a comment to share your thoughts about this video or just to help encourage other programmers to use this feature. That's all I have. Hope to see you back in my next video. Take care.